Hello, you all beautiful Pisces. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Radku Tarot. I'm Rad. And uh, in this whole video, we are going to look into your week, November 30th to December 6th, 2020. And uh, should you be interested in a personal reading, you can go to my website, you are going, which you are going to find into the description down below. And uh, there you can uh, purchase a personal reading or you can uh, get, uh, get yourself a, a tarot class in case you want to dive or to jump or dive into a, a tarot magic. So with that being said, let's uh, move to your reading straight away here. And the first card, which describes the topic of your week, that is going to be the Knights of Wands. Uh, moving next, we do have uh, the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic here. That is going to be the Three of uh, Pentacles. Moving next, that will be the challenges that you need to overcome for the upcoming week. That is going to be the Page of Swords. Followed by the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy. We do have uh, the uh, Chariot card. Afterwards, it is the impression that you are leaving into the people around. So that is how people see you. That will be the three of uh, wands. Then it is the obstacles which are to hold you back or to hold you down. That is the three of swords. We do have a lot of threes here. And uh, I was about to say at, uh, at the start that it's kind of like a, a, a social reading when I was... Um, about to turn all the cards, but those threes or the cluster of the threes, it kind of confirms it. Afterwards, it is the page of pentacles, that is the positive aspects, things that are going to help you move forward. And the last one here, we do have the six of pentacles, which is the guidance. So we do have a, you are going to be throughout the week, like in between the hammer and the anvil the hammer and the anvil, two different people, okay? And uh, for one or another reason, you will have, you and one of these people will have to save the other. Uh, like, convince them not to do what they wanna do um, or get through to them in general. That is, that is just the overview of the reading, but let's jump into, uh, into it more deeply as we interpret the cards one by one. So the first two we have, which are the topic of the Knights of Wands and the Three of Pentacles, the, these are the energies which are feeding it. It kind of speaks that the week is going to be dappled um, with conversations and with analysis as well, that you're not going to do it alone, but you are also going to talk with uh, those that you are involved with. Uh, friends, co-workers as well that could consider, you can consider that as a partner into a relationship or a marriage as well. Family also fits into this, uh, into this description. And that is uh, for a couple of reasons. One of it, it is to see how much support you are going to get into your enterprises and into your endeavors in general. The other one is to see how in tune they are with the whole situation because the people which are in tune with it, they are going to see something constructive in it and they will not going to be afraid to speak up about it. That includes you as well. And that is something you're going to feel straight away as you enter into the week that you cannot stand seeing someone doing a, a, a wrong thing that is going to hurt them and not raising your voice about it. And that itself is going to provoke a uh, very honest and as well uh, fruitful cooperations in between you and your co-workers, your, your girlfriend or your boyfriend and so on and so forth. I, I, and this thing leads to the topic, which topic uh, opens up um, an ocean, uh, an ocean of, oh my God, and an ocean of ways moving forward. So you are an, an explorer throughout the week. Even if you do stand in between the hammer and the anvil, you are an explorer. And the, the, explore, the exploration could uh, involve two things. One is to explore your next uh, goal or what your next goal is going to be. 
The other, it's exploring how to reach the goal. There will be multiple ways moving forward. All of them is going to work out, but which is most beneficial for you, you have to explore for yourself. For that reason, you are going to be gifted, if I may say it that way, with tremendous amounts of uh, energy of curiosity. You're just going to be curious how it's going to work out if you do it that way and if you do it the other way around and so on and so forth. Here, I have to, uh, however, warn you about something. That impulse, because it's exactly that, it's an impulse, is going to last for as long as you do find the thing that works perfectly. Don't try to exceed perfection here. Whatever works for you perfectly, that is what you need to stick with and move forward with it. And also, you're going to have the tendency to give everything you got into, uh, into your endeavors and into your work in general um, or into your relationship as well. And that is going to be highly, highly appreciated. But again, everything goes through cooperation, mutual support, open conversations and as well constructive criticism. And this is exactly what you will have to do for the challenge that we do have in front of you or that you are having in front of you. That is a person that for one or another reason you are holding on to. It's kind of like that's a, an important guy or a girl to a certain extent. Um, it could be a good friend. It could be as well your lover also. It's just someone you, you want to see happy, someone you want to see prevailing. It could be your child as well, okay? So here with this card, this person has, it, has their thoughts or thoughts that are preposterous. That, that's the word. Uh, straight away preposterous. I mean, uh, you are going to be even surprised and amazed, baffled, how they can even think that way? It's, it's just, that does, does they not have a shred of sense of reality, what is going on around? And with these constructive criticism, open conversations, and also support as well, your challenge is to prove them wrong. You will want to prove them wrong. And uh, it will be very tough. You should expect certain conflicts as well, because this one here does not shy from conflicts as well. And um, a lot is going to be said in between you and this person. Most of it in a negative light, like open up entirely and say what you think about them. No, no withholds whatsoever. They are going to do the same thing. And that translates into the obstacles which are going to hold you back. Uh, you may wound each other, and I do believe that you are going to wound each other uh, by opening up wounds from the past or digging up a dirty shirt. It is what we do have as an expression in our, uh, in our country. Also, challenging wise is going to be about to, to you to make uh, some sort of a we call it spring cleaning of your social circle as well. In generally, those that you have no use of or those that are only using you, they, these people need to go. They just don't have a place among you. Moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy. And that will be the chariot card. That is a very powerful drive. Relates to the very first card that we do have, the Knight of Wands. And it kind of points that you, you, are, you, are gifted, you are gifted throughout the week with the luck of your work. Appreciation, recognition, uh, wish fulfillment as well, if you will. Well, it's not going to be complete wish fulfillment in the sense of completing your wish, but clearing out the path to get there. Preparing for that huge jump moving forward, that's... Um, a tremendous results are to be uh, are to be accomplished. Um, the gift is as well pride. I mean, you're gonna be freaking proud of yourself how far you went and what you were capable of for throughout the week. Chariot carries on with it. The rewards as well. So you also are going to be rewarded for your efforts. But above everything else, you, my friends, Pisces, you are gonna be gifted with triumph. In everything you do so even if this page of swords gives you really really tough time 
to get through to them and to convince them that you are doing it out of love because you do care and you see how wrong they are and you don't want them to suffer after that. Even if you, even if you do face a, a challenge into convincing them into it, should you not give up on it? You are going to triumph into this endeavor moving forward. Um, Another thing that I could say that you are gifted with, but you probably already know that, that is your iron will and determination. Um, a miracle needs to happen to sway you off your opinion and to sway you off your holdings. Like you do hold to that page of swords and regardless what they do, it's impossible to, to, to pretty much repulse you off them. Uh, moving next, we do have the impression that uh, you are going to leave into people around. That is going to be the Tree of Wands. And in this particular case, the Tree of Wands is either my way or the highway. But that is not going to be because you are ignorant. That is not going to be because you are stubborn. That's not going to be because you are a spoiled brat. No, because through experience, through your own experience, because you do sit in a solid patterns and foundations, you actually know what is good and what is wrong in the such a reason situation. And people will see that aside from the page of swords that we do have as a challenge here. And also people are going to see that you do uh, make anything to the best of your, everything to the best of your abilities to, to pretty much, you know, sort the things out. For Tree of Wands is about challenging yourself in order to progress and that's how people see you that you are challenging yourself to make more from your life and everybody is going to appreciate that but if we're talking about relationships more particularly here and say you wonder how your partner sees you or your suitor sees you so your suitor or your partner is seeing you in a way that you know very well what you want from that relationship. You do have a very strong vision of it and you won't settle for anything less than that. In fact, that is as well how your boss sees you. So if you do hope for some kind of a raise or some kind of a promotion here, uh, it, it's all that you gotta do is to convince the collective to work together or one person in the collective to work alongside with you and not to whine about anything, not to do shenanigans here or take stupid initiative, preposterous initiative um, on their own and you pretty much are going to secure it. Now moving next, we have the obstacles that are to you are to face which are to hold you back and I said that the page of swords is related to this one and that is the wounds you are going to inflict on each other or you are going to deliver on each other through words. That card speaks for mental cruelty and uh, how can I say uh, well you can see it in the card in the card like broken heart but not because uh, your emotions are not shared but because the words that you have been addressed with, which are provoking negative, poignant, even painful thoughts to twist and tangle in your mind and making you feel lost. The challenge here, or rather like, in order to overcome those obstacles, you need to muffle those thoughts. Do whatever you have to do, drink through it, sleep through it, F through it, whatever you have to do, all right? Just do what you gotta do to overwhelm those thoughts or to live through them. You can't overwhelm them. That's, that's the problem with the Three of Swords. You just can't simply forget that they exist. You have to live through, it, through them for as much as you can so you can do it to the amount needed and after that starts healing from it. Otherwise, is going to linger out there ready to uh, engulf you again in sorrow and pain. And the other thing that this card points at is that because this person is kind of insubordinate to what you do, there will be a crisis and you're going to find yourself with your back against the wall because of them. And you will have to pretty much play the game of catching up, like making one step forward. Oh my God, two step backwards. So I have to kind of like catch up again. 
Um, and uh, that is something you have to deal with with uh, the person itself, Page of Swords. Otherwise, the Tree of Swords will not going to be developed in a positive way. So conversations once again, sh and, I, and Page of Swords, guys, they feel very lonely, very misunderstood. That's why I kind of like emphasized at the start that this week should be dappled with uh, fruitful conversations, even criticism as well and cooperation. That page needs to feel that they are supported, that there is so actually someone out there that cares for them and that is willing to listen uh, for what they have to say and for what they feel as well and etc etc. Moving next we do have the uh, positive aspects that um, are going to help you move forward and we do have another page here. That is the page of pentacles. Uh, this is another person here which actually sees the same value as you do uh, within this page of swords that we talked about beforehand and this one is helping you to convince the page of swords that what they are about to do is preposterous and it's only going to hurt them if anything else uh, and it's not just only hurting them but hurting everybody involved in the situation itself. Uh, that could be uh, for example the teacher of your um, the teacher of your uh, child, that could be the, uh, the sister uh, of your boyfriend or the father of your girlfriend that pretty much sees that they are doing stupid, st stupid things or rather like preposterous things and or preposterous actions and they are sharing your vision that, you know, whatever you think is best, it's actually best and they help you convince the page of, uh, the page of swords, the swords into your, uh, into your righteousness. You need to know that this page of pentacles is pretty much devoted to your vision, to your idea, to your way of thinking as well. They see huge value into it, huge opinion into it as well. So you can only be happy if that's, for example, the father of your partner in life or if you had kind of like, you know, an edgy uh, relationship. Now they're going to see you in a completely different light that you do actually want the best for their child, okay? Uh, but um, all in all with this card you do have a very loyal supportive or ally it's, the word is not supportive but an ally that it's uh, it's pretty much sharing your emotional status for the relation for, for for the endeavor not the relation yeah it's relationship with the page of swords but in generally for the endeavor for the agenda for the enterprise that you are trying to push forward and develop and the last one we have for you, Pisces, that will be the guidance that Saro is offering. And this is the um, Six of Pentacles. A bit of a contradictory here it is what we have. And Six of Pentacles kind of points that you need to, um, how can I say, if nothing works out, you need to enforce the hierarchy out there. Or in other words, if this person that you are trying to convince that they need to be subordinate are... Uh, your subordinate into your work instead of trying to do it as a friend if that doesn't work out by the end of the week you have to enforce your will by right that's what the six of pentacles is talking about that eventually if things as, isn't working out you need to bring the hierarchy into bear and pretty much enforce your will over the matter because you can and uh, that is going to bring or kind of like set the river into um, into its place uh, into its place once again uh, but uh, the seven of uh, not the seven but the six of pentacles also speaks about uh, how can I say harmony and balance for within the picture we do have a rich man and beggars all in one scene. So it's kind of like harmony in between these layers of, of hierarchy of society as well. And I do believe and I do not believe but do suspect because you all go through a um, different situations. But the reason why the page, that page of swords, that person is acting like that it's because they are deeply hurt by the lack of appreciation or like I said, understanding from others. It doesn't have to be yours, but unfortunately you draw the short straw by one way or another to clean up that mess and you gotta do it. And if common sense doesn't, 
your power should. So, or your power to um, enforce the hierarchy should. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly general tarot reading. Uh, hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys. And uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.